million people in the U.S. have asthma, and more and more are developing asthma. True story, uh, our air quality here is really bad. It's so bad, it's listed. If you're trying to move here or you're looking at things about the city of Milwaukee, we're one of the worst states in the whole country, or the city, for air quality. Um, it accounts for more than 14 million outpatient clinic visits and 2 million emergency department visits every year. And it's the most chronic, serious, uh, common serious chronic disease of childhood and it's getting worse. Uh, one of the things that we need to think about beyond our home setting is the whole issue of traffic. Um, the more cars you have, the more exhaust you have. Um, and until we get zero emission cars, that's gonna be an issue. Uh, and we're a long way from getting where everybody has a car that's zero emissions. Uh, there is a lot of studies, there are currently a lot of studies being conducted, but a lot of data already out there that shows very specifically, particularly in New York City um, and New Jersey, children that are in schools that are close to the freeways experience much higher um, uh, levels and rates of, of uh, asthma attacks and um, other health conditions, but particularly respiratory diseases. Another issue we need to think about are those diesel uh, buses that are running and the kids are standing in line waiting to get on the bus. Um, the new diesels don't need to be running all the time. Uh, and unless it's severely cold out and the bus driver has to stay warm, those kids are standing out there and breathing in the fumes. Another asthma trigger um, from a school setting. Uh, so, uh, freeways, um, the more traffic you have, the more exhaust you have, and the more asthma triggers you have, um, it just, it's just simple science. That's all I can say.